Despite defeating Steppenwolf and remaining alive, Superman still wears his black suit at the end of Zack Snyder's Justice League and here's why. Before we go on, please subscribe to our channel for the latest content about your favorite movies and TV shows. With the Snyder Cut now out, the punchlines over Henry Cavill's horrendously removed mustache from the Mission Impossible Fallout are now in the past, replaced by the talk of Superman's black suit, pulled right from his resurrection after dying in the battle with Doomsday in the comics. Though, this is an integral element of Superman's return to life. It functions in a much more symbolic role in Snyder's story. In the comics, Superman's black suit served as an energy conduit to get kal -El back to full strength after his return to life. In Snyder's cut of Superman's resurrection, he has no such need to recharge his batteries, as the hero spark battle with the Justice League clearly shows him at full strength, albeit confused and disoriented after having just returned from death. When Superman joins the Justice League in battle against Steppenwolf, though, he's dressed in a brand new black and silver suit from the Kryptonian scout ship. Clark looks to have adopted this as his new primary suit by the end when he rips open his shirt to reveal the silver S-shield underneath. Logistically speaking, Clark needed a new suit anyway. His previous red and blue suit had a gigantic hole in the chest from being stabbed by Doomsday. As for why Superman continues to wear his black suit after the fight with Steppenwolf is over, this goes back to Snyder's plan for Superman in the five movie arc he had mapped out, particularly how Clark finds his way back to the original red and blue costume. Snyder has spoken of Superman's story in terms that signify it as a journey, his death in Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice being one major component of it. When it comes to the black suit, Snyder has stated he intended it to be symbolic of Clark's arc as Superman, with the intention being for him to return to his classic suit over the course of the intended Justice League sequels. Snyder previously explained that his goal for Superman was to learn something at every step with the plan being that his return to the red and blue suit would mark the completion of his journey. Additionally, Snyder also described the black suit as a great time delineator to visually indicate where Superman was on the road he'd planned out. In a nutshell, the iconic Superman shirt rip at the end of the film features the black suit due to the Snyder cut marking the midpoint of kal -El's story. With the film bearing the title Zack Snyder's Justice League, it's not surprising that the director would want Superman's portrayal to be consistent with where he wanted him to be at this point in the storyline. The question now is, will the rest of Snyder's planned story ever be realized? At the moment, there is no such known plans for any further films in Snyder's DCAU. With that being said, with Superman in the black suit as Snyder had wanted and the cliffhanger ending of Zack Snyder's Justice League, the cards are all on the table now for the story to be finished if Warner Brothers wishes it so. Thank you for watching, drop a like and please subscribe to our channel for more content like this.